slick right there. Heavy damage to that whole right front corner on the 22 of Brad Keselowski. Like Josh Wise oh. in the 39. And Josh, the whole front end of that Mustang is just shoved back. Yeah, good to see that wind in that come down. You see a little jockey oh. by Landon Castle actually kind of made an abrupt move in front of Keselowski. We saw that on the back straightaway too. And then, wow, what a hard hit. Well, Josh Wise just nowhere to go, just piles in there. It looked like Todd Bodine ended up with some damage on the front of his car there. I believe that's who that was that came in and got into the back of Josh Wise then. Well, I've been working with uh, with Lane and Castle, and we had moved all the way through the pack and, and caught the leaders. And, uh, you know, I came in and pit. I wanted to make sure we could make it on fuel, and I think that was the right move. We got right back to Landon, and I was going to work with Trevor Bain, and I kind of had audible from working with Landon. I don't know, maybe Landon didn't get the message, but he, he pulled down in front of me while somebody was pushing, and uh, you can't stop. And uh, so we just ran into each other, and... Uh, it's a tough place to run into each other on the front stretch of Daytona. There's nothing you can really do. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, impressed by my guys. You know, this is kind of a new team. And, uh, again, and our discount tire Dodge Challenger was extremely fast. I feel like we had a car that could definitely win this race. And I uh, guess it just wasn't meant to be.